growing up in Oakland and in the neighborhoods of deep East Oakland, growing up a lot of you feel like they don't have a voice. So coming here, um, well, you feel like you have a voice in the world. If you have an opinion, you can share your opinion, you have a voice and you, you're, you're, you're free to express what you want. All the students and interns and teachers, everyone here comes from a different state, different background, different experiences, and we all somehow connect. My roommate, before he actually met me, his thought of me was just like a hooligan, basically. And then he started talking to me, like getting to know me. It's automatic judgment of people. It's changed because of me living with him. Woman is definitely a place of allyship. It's very clearly like a safe space to be of a different class or a different color from the person next to you. But it also forced us to have like really important conversations. The biggest thing that I'm gonna take back to my community is nonviolent communication. Just to change the way people think about the way they interact with each other. Back home, it's like, you did something to me, we gotta fight. Man, I would love to change that culture behind that. Woman brings you in and says, hey, this is this community that you're gonna live in, and like, as a community, we need trust from you and like, vice versa, because even if you have conflict with one specific person, the community as a whole is gonna hold you and help support you in trying to work through that. The more you, you, you just hear each other's stories, the more you kind of try to understand and say, okay, it's not about me. We're just living in a different way. And if we, if we were to see the other side of the stories, we can try to see how we can change the situation. Even by listening to them talk and occasionally argue and fight about it, I know that also it helps me question what I believe. and. I think questioning our truths is really, really important. And we wouldn't get that opportunity without some contrast here and there. A lot of times our discussions will continue after class because it's stuff that matters to us and it's stuff that's relevant. I've never learned so much in such a short period of time. And I have faith that I'm gonna keep this information with me and build on it and try and make change. So I wanted to bring both political art and spiritual artwork to the school and also share a little bit of Oakland culture. We just have full creativity and we're allowed to make mistakes. In our society everywhere, there's certain aspects of sexism that some of us don't even realize. I don't really talk about it towards men that much. But wow, like we were able to have this conversation and we broke the silence there. It made me think more about why things happen and, and question things that I'm being told. Not like having been oppressed with sexism. I'm, I guess I'm the, like the power group in that. So just me getting a better understanding from somebody who has faced that oppression was big for me. And like, I just noticed it all around now and not let people know what I see. We spend maybe like 70% of our time outside and that's a really special thing over like good food that we've created as a community together. We have these great conversations at a picnic table outdoors and then we have to go do the dishes together. Before coming to Woolman, I was watching TV all day. That's all I did. Going back now, again, whenever I visit, I don't even touch the television. I'd rather be outside and like, experiencing life and talking to people. You just learn how to live a simpler life and appreciate things more. We get down to the very basics of food, water, shelter. We spend time in the woods and take classes about foraging and finding plants in the wild. And then we have farm to table where we learn how to plant seeds and grow food and cook that food. When me and Dante go out in the middle of the night, we don't use flashlights. And I'm always telling them, like, look up at the stars. You're never going to see this many stars again in your life because it's just amazing how, like, untouched nature is out here. Something that we always say here is notice magic. This is the stuff of life, and I'm doing it, and I'm doing it with people who are supporting me and who care about me, and I feel that way towards them too. And that's the journey that we're constantly on here.
there's infinite learning that's possible here. Woman supports going to your neighbor to learn a skill or to get help or to find enjoyment and entertainment and company instead of outsourcing to people you don't know and to Amazon.com and all these other things. It's just what happens when there's a lot of good people in one space trying to create a better world together. You have to like show initiative all the time, have integrity about what you do and have characters. Like make sure that you are the same person when somebody is watching you. My attitude has changed towards things. I feel like before I can like take care of somebody else or lead them down the right path, I gotta find my path first. You just wanna skip all of the small talk. So you can sit down at a table and talk about things that are really mattering for you. It creates a safe environment for you to really challenge what you thought. Woman is by no means a perfect community. It's always changing and there's always something that somebody feels could be different. And because it's an always evolving thing, it's personalized. It's gonna be your own thing and your own home and your own place. It's an experience I'm never going to forget, and I want to share that with, with whoever I can. Just as I've learned to appreciate nature, a year living out here for the past four months has made me appreciate Oakland so much more. And you know, you have so many stories that are colliding, so many paths that are coming together.